Hello and welcome. So this is the minimalist packing party update, but it is also a very small life update. Now, if you're not interested in my life, skip ahead two minutes. But if you are someone who's been following me for a little while, or if you just sort of pay attention to try and upload a video once a week, this is more for you. So yeah, if you have been following me, you probably know that I live in a Camp Hill community. It's an intentional community set up for people with developmental disabilities, but also just people alike. I mean, when you look at this community from the outside, you see it for people with disabilities, but actually when you live here, you feel like it's a community for everyone because it's really supportive of everyone and all everyone's needs because we all actually do have needs. We just, yeah, don't recognize it in the same way. So basically i came here to study and there is a study program in this community which is a social therapy program and that is currently what i am doing that's the purpose of me being here and yeah the way it works is that one day a week i have full classes and then the rest of the time during the week is practicum time and it is both involved in the workshop but also in your house um where you live so that's sort of how they the, how it works it's mostly more practical than it is theory and for me that is awesome because I really struggle with classroom setting and doing essays and things like this so yeah my workshop which is where the change has happened is the co-op which is the small sort of general store that helps look after all the needs for the community in terms of the food I mean we grow a lot of our own food we have our own beef cows and dairy cows and all that kind of stuff but we also have the co-op that brings in all the extras we don't have because we have gardens as well so a lot of the produce is grown here and yeah I was there doing my practicum time with uh, an employed um, guy who came in outside of the village he came in each week to sort of yeah to do a job and what has happened over the last two weeks is that he has left the community he's no longer working here and because I was the only one who really knew what was going on because I was full-time there I wasn't you can do part-time workshops you can do morning workshop and afternoon workshop but I was all the time in the co-op I have kind of been asked to step up until we have a sort of solution to kind of manage things as much as I can so my time has yeah been taken up quite fully trying to be a manager of a like of a co-op which is yeah not what I thought I would be doing but nevertheless it someone needs to do it and I'm willing and happy to do it so basically what has happened with my minimalist packing party is that I have been trying to do it but I have just been grabbing clothes out of my suitcase, grabbing things out of the things that are packed up just because I need them or I'm not thinking and also the seasons change. We've gone from like cool weather to summer and I'm now wearing skirts. So you're about to see my room. It is a total mess but that is because I have been trying to deal with what is going on in the workshop at the moment but I thought I would show you because the reality is is we have goals but sometimes life gets in the way of them or sometimes life helps to you know excel them so let me just show you around but basically my room is kind of a mess but I just wanted to like keep it this way so you actually see how things go when I don't have time to like take care of myself properly so this is my box that was packed up and then things have obviously fallen out of here I have clothes that I'm wearing in this pile um yeah my room is kind of a mess at the moment at least I made my bed this morning and then underneath here is my suitcase that I have been yeah steadily pulling things out out, out of over the week um my desk is got all my school stuff there I have my diary randomly there my shoes still are nicely neat and my camera bag is still packed away um, but yeah and then I also got my toiletries up here and I have yeah unpacked a few more different items that I was using so I don't really know what to do from now from here because everything is a bit of a mess and obviously I'm not going to leave my space like this and I think I will have to pack up some things and I just never really know what to do in terms of this packing party and this change of seasons because you know I have my winter coats up here that I no longer need right now but I'd still need to keep them but like do you pack them away or do you pack them in a different section so and I have long sleeve tops as well so I need to sort of pack these away but pack them away as in I still want to keep them I'm just not wearing them because because it's the wrong season but yeah this is kind of how things are looking at the moment 
sort of a total mess, but it's okay because I, I don't know, I can justify it, I guess. Um, yeah, so I sort of need to figure out what I want to do with that and I need to sort of clean things up and pack away what I truly don't need or don't need to use. But still, I mean, even though I've, it's a total mess, you can see that most things are still packed away and like this and all this, I'm not actually using it. I just had to get to something underneath that. So that's why that's a mess. And I think if you do try and do a packing party, you do realize that to get to something you've packed away, you often have to like shuffle through that whole box that you've packed up so that is why it looks pretty messy at the moment and yeah I just I kind of wanted to show you just be for the sake of like clarity because I feel like when you're online it's very easy for me to like make my life look excellent and great and that I'm succeeding at all these things that I am attempting to do but you also don't know like 95% of everything else that's going on on my day-to-day -day life because I'm also not like a vlogging type person and it's very hard with the sort of work I do and the place where I live and my studies to, yeah, to show you that um, side of my life. But yeah, I thought I'd give you a quick little update and it's still going, I'm still doing it, it's just I have to work with my situation so that, yeah, I don't know, I don't have time to like be really like clear about what I'm unpacking, I'm just, you know have to go through and do my seasons and go through and just double check what do I actually need out at this moment so yeah thank you so much for watching I mean let me know how you're going if you've experienced this before where you yeah you set a goal but then something happens and it's not that you feel like you're failing it just feels like you can't do it the way you originally thought you were going to do it and yeah let me know how you're doing and I hope you're having a lovely day thanks for watching bye